you think is the beginning of all things? For me, it's all the uh, God creation. Uh, since the first beginning of all, He created all. And maybe also the Big Bang. Big, both? Both. Yeah, both. And you, Marianne? Yeah, I think that God has created everything. He has created Big Bang. He has created us. So I think that is the beginning of all. Okay. So if so, you believe in Big Bang. So does that mean you believe the Earth is old or the Earth is young? I believe the Earth is changing. Uh, how many years? Well, uh, I really don't know, but a lot of years. A lot of years. Yeah, I agree with him. The Earth is kind of old, I think. Okay. So, uh, what do you believe about the Book of Genesis? What do you think about the Book of Genesis when you read Genesis chapter one, two, and three? Uh, well, I would say it's kind of, uh, you have to be open-minded in order to read that mm -hmm. because it's like you escape from reality and you have to trans transport to that moment. Uh, but I think it's, uh, it's cool, it's great. Yeah, I think like he said, you have to be open-minded, you have to be prepared for reading, to learn about new things that it's not the thing that you learn every day that everyone is telling you. You have to be like prepared for another thing. Okay, so how would you say that you know that the Earth is old, or what makes you think that the Earth is old? Maybe millions of times, uh, of, of years of changing and dinosaurs and, and all that stuff uh, make me think that we are old. You know, in school they teach us Earth is old, like culture, history, what they show you in the classroom. I think that's why we think that. What do you think of the Bible in terms of its truthfulness? For me, it's uh, all truthless, uh, but it's uh, it's true that in that time, uh, what I know is that Constantino, the Constantine, Constantine, yeah. uh, put a lot of things in the in the in the Bible that benefit him, and uh, he take out many things that make him not the ideal person. I think of the Bible that if you have faith, you can choose to believe in it. I definitely choose to believe in it, so I think it's true, and I don't question it. So, so it's, it's as a as a as a person, also as a believer, but also I'm an engineer, so you know science is important to me. I, I found it very difficult for me and my faith to believe in evolution and the Big Bang, and Jesus Christ at the same time. That both for me, the both can't both can't be true, yeah. right? The atheists, their their worldview, their 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 religion is consistent, right? They believe in no god. Their god is what they imagine, whatever, right? Their non-god is their religion. They also believe in evolution, so that's consistent. But for for us as Christians, it's difficult for us to see what we see as science, right? And also believe in Jesus, who quotes the Old Testament specifically Genesis that. That he is the creator, right? So that becomes challenging. What do you What do you think of that? I think there is always a how is it equilibrium? Balance. A balance between all things, uh -huh. and it's just you have to find that balance and just believe. I think both things are connected. It's not that one thing is true and the other not one is not. They are both connected and. When you see there are similarities between both the uh, well the theories and if you just choose to have faith, you will not question anything. You can look at those buildings over there, the bus and the car, and you can say those things didn't happen by accident, right? That car only comes about by many, many, many hours of intelligent people designing things. Well, the same thing with this tree, right? And the same thing with this grass, and with the Niagara Falls, and and with your eyes and with your ears. You know, some things that we don't really talk about very often is that our ears hear exactly in the same frequency that we talk in. That's, by, that's not by accident, that's by a designer. I think, I think what I'm trying to tell you is that, that what you were telling me about what you believe is inconsistent. It's, 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 it's unsure, uncertain. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay, so admittedly, our guest, Go Teams Media anchor Kevin, asks his new friend Adrian, a hard heart level question. Is your hope in the true Jesus who created all things as written in his word or a false Jesus in your own making? 
Hmm. Like, is it possible to be a Christian and believe in an old earth and maybe even evolution? Actually, yes. Because what does the Bible say is required to become a Christian? Well, here are just a handful of telling truths from Christ himself. In John 3:16, Jesus says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. He also says in John 6, 47, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me has eternal life. And then he says this in John 11, 25 and 26, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. And then the Apostle Paul also tells how that happens in Romans 10. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So those passages and many others confirm all that's basically required to become a Christian is to repent of my sin and believe in the person and redemptive work of Jesus Christ, the only Son of God on my behalf. That's it. But to also continue believing that our loving Creator God caused and used a Big Bang billions of years ago, followed by millions more years of death, disease, and suffering to create, and then he called it all very good in Genesis chapter 1, verse 31, is not only scientifically untenable, but much more importantly, it's biblically contradictory to the character and nature of God himself.